Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Craig here, reviews for you. All right, so I know you've probably seen these leaked pictures from uh, episode nine. Well, we're gonna go through them and just see just how, oh, I don't know, boring they actually are. You know, I mean, I know the story, I know what's gonna happen and wow. I mean, this is the reason JJ's rewriting right now. Um, you know, with Leia sending people out to the Outer Rim just to try and get more people on their side. Nobody wants to fight against Kylo because they ain't really doing anything anyway. The whole thing is just a damn mess. I mean, the whole thing is just a mess. I'm saying it right now. You're saying it right now. The whole thing is just crap. It's junk. I mean, that there's there's it's it's ridiculous. I mean, it really is. I mean, there's a reason why uh JJ is actually in the middle of rewriting, in the middle of shooting. Do you know what you're going to get in the middle of rewrites, in the middle of shooting? If you're writing a script in the middle of shooting, you've got issues. I mean, you've got serious problems. This just lets you know what we've got in charge of this franchise right now. Um, you know, we all know KK's gone. We all know Ryan stuff's not going to get made. And we all know that all this is squarely on JJ's shoulders. And even with George Lucas there, there's, I mean, after episode eight, there's really not a whole lot you can do. I mean, seriously. I mean, if somebody gave you, oh, I don't know, a cup of sugar, um, maybe an orange, uh, some collard greens, and some spaghetti sauce, and you're supposed to make a, a nine-course meal out of it. I mean, you, you can't. It's ridiculous. It, it's impossible. This is why episode nine is it. I mean, it's it's done. This... This whole saga is done. They should just save this money and walk away. Prepare for something good. Actually take your time and write something good. We all know that the upcoming D&D trilogy is going to be out in 2020 is going to be good. We already know that they're scheduled for filming uh, to start in the spring. That's actually something to look forward to. Star Wars Resistance, have you seen the poll numbers on that? Have you seen the trailer for Star Wars Resistance? Good Lord. Horrible, horrible, and horrible. And it's not going to get any better. I'm just letting you know, it's not going to get any better. You know, they're just going to keep doubling down on the same crap over and over and over and we all know JJ has no imagination. And there's really nothing you can do. I mean, honestly, there's nothing you can do. There really is nothing you can do. But instead of Rose Tico getting to go off on uh getting to go off on an adventure with Finn, she does get her own adventure. She does. I'll post a picture right about now. Because that's who she's going to get to go on an adventure with. It's it's actually kind of pathetic. It's, it's not actually kind of pathetic. It's really pathetic. It's the kind of pathetic that kills franchises. Kills billion dollar franchises. That's what it does. This is how pathetic it actually is. Um, you know, oh, well, well, well wait, wait a minute. Finn's hair's longer by about that much. Wow. Hey, that's a change. Um, let's see. Poe, he's not in a, he's, he's not in a, in a, in a, in his normal, um, outfit. Wow. Um, Chewbacca looks like a damn gunny Google. I mean, seriously. I mean, looks like a damn Bigfoot now. Shit's all matted up. Dude's not. I mean, look, I'm not putting the dude down. Um, but, I mean, it's just not the same. And 
you've got these horses dressed up. I mean, looking like teetotal ass. It's it's pathetic. I mean, it really is pathetic. I, I wouldn't care if there were 50 ships coming down there trying to blow all their asses up at one time. You couldn't make any of these scenes good. I just, I mean, you couldn't. None of these scenes should be in a Star Wars movie, period. At all. Ever. None of these characters should be in a Star Wars movie. At all. Period. And, you know, all this exciting news and more. All right, well, this ain't exciting news. All right. Exciting news. Pictures from episode nine. All right, this is not exciting news. This shit sucks. This this just reiterates the fact that it sucks. It's just it's it's just downright damn disheartening. Um, wow. I mean, I, I was kind of hoping to have like a positive deal on this, but I'm sorry. There's there's nothing positive to be had. This is Star Wars: The End. That's what it is. Star Wars: The End. I mean, that's that's all there is to it. Um, we've always got one through three and four, five, and six. Uh, the rest of this crap they can just throw in the trash. They're wasting money on episode nine. Well, at this point, I think I saw there was a poll that was put up. Oh, one of the one of the Jedi some odd uh, websites, you know, interest in seeing episode nine. Sixty nine percent have absolutely no interest in seeing episode nine. Sixty nine percent. And there were a little over 50. No, I'm sorry, 15,200 and something votes. Now, granted, these are people that are out there looking for Star Wars news. Um, because that's how I happened to run across it. And it came up on my uh, my feed. So 15,000 people is a pretty good. It's a pretty good. Um, it's a pretty good start, uh, especially for a poll. And to have 69% of them to not even give a crap about seeing episode nine. That means, uh, well, it also broke it down. Uh, 15% were definitely excited to see episode nine and the rest were like, meh, care less, you know, go either way. That's, that's pretty bad. I, I don't know how you ruin a, a, a four and a half billion dollar franchise that Lord, I could have tripled the money on in five years time. I mean, seriously, you've got a brand like that. You you should be able to triple the money on it uh, easily instead of running it into the end of the ground. Anyway, I'm Craig. Reviews for you. <coughs> a little tired, feeling a little down, a little sick, but I am out of here. Remember to like, subscribe, share. Hit those bell notifications and make sure you hit them every time because they've changed the way bell notifications will actually work now. So if you click on bell notifications, it'll give you options. And make sure you hit every time. That way you'll know when we go live or anytime I upload a video. I've got a couple more I'm working on right now. Um, hopefully they're going to be a little bit more upbeat than this one right here is. Because uh, this is just, I don't know, just downright um, fan films are better. We'll see y'all in the next video.